Hello guys and uh, welcome to this uh, small cast about our lab tomorrow uh, I'm sorry it is a little bit late but uh, better late than uh, never so the idea of the lab is to check Ohm's law uh, Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law now to be able to check these three things we are planning to make three circuits very simple circuits in the lab this one this one and this one okay and we will do some measurements we will do some simulation and for some of them we will do some calculations and you need to fill these tables with the three uh, parts you will calculate the current through the resistor to check Ohm's law then we will see that using multisim and we will measure that in the lab and we'll do that for two resistances in this circuit so we have one resistance we will do we'll change the voltage of the source in like five measure uh, five readings one volt three volts five volts seven volts nine volts then we and we will measure the current through the resistor as the voltage changes then we will change the resistor and add another resistor and see if the behavior of the resistor is the same and this is the check on Ohm's law uh, the second circuit is about uh, KVL where we have two connected resistances and we said that the voltage rise in any circuit in any closed loop should equal the voltage drop so we assume that there is a voltage rise here actually this is a voltage source voltage rise there will be a voltage drop in this one voltage drop on that one and the voltage across this one the voltage across this one should equal the total voltage and we will want to check that those are two different resistances and we will change the voltage of the source in these values and we will see the voltage across the first one the second one and their summation does it equal the source or not the last circuit it's a little bit complicated here I'm sorry uh, but the idea is that we have a we have a circuit now I will do it without the meters in the circuit then we will add the meters and you will see the difference between these two and here again the idea is the same there is a current going into this node is the same this is the KCL of course or uh, Kirchhoff's current law and we want to check that law is the current going in the node equals the currents leaving the node okay then and we will do these measurements and uh, simulation here okay uh, I'll start with the first one and the last one uh, I will do the first one and the last one this one is uh, after doing the, these two this one becomes easy I will leave it to you to do it using multisim and tomorrow in the lab we will do it together okay <coughs> so I'll just put this aside so that I can see the circuit that we are planning to do and this is multi-sim we take one resistor here it is we take, we take one source DC power source we need one ground and that is that's it as the circuit and now we connect this thing we need a current meter and we need a voltage meter we can flip this for better visualization now here is a thing that many of you guys make a mistake with current meters they are generally connected in uh, in series so we don't if we try to connect this like that this is a big mistake uh, you cannot measure current like this because this is just a single node or a single point so the current will pass and it will not go through the meter the current to be measured it has to go through the meter and then through the element I mean if we put the current meter here 
or if we put it here it is the same because this is this loop has the same current but the important thing is we have to understand that it goes through the element so we just remove this part now the current it will flow through the meter will be measured and will uh, close the path for its uh, for its path the voltage on the other hand it is measured across the elements and we will discuss this in details tomorrow in the lab but to let you I mean know how things are done here we say we want to measure voltage in a DC form while here we want to measure current this guy is multimeter 1 this guy is multimeter 2 here we are measuring DC current like that and as we mentioned before this is easy to change we want first 1 volt and now we can switch on the circuit and we see there is 1 volt across the resistor and 1 milliamp through the resistor and from Ohm's law the current equal the voltage across the resistance so 1 volt across 1 kilo ohm gives us 1 milli ampere and this you should put in the table if you like you can see the table so the voltage the voltage across the resistor is 1 calculated by ohm's law is 1 and from multisim we see it's 1 tomorrow when you measure it you put whatever the value that you get now we change this voltage now to change anything in multisim you have to stop the simulation first then change the value the second value is 3 okay now we run the simulation we see now the voltage across the resistor is 3 volts the current through the resistor is 3 am milliamperes stop the resistor uh, and you of course you uh, tabulate this or record these values stop change the reading or the voltage source and run the simulation again we can see the voltage across the resistor is 5 the current through, through the resistor is 5 milliamps stop <coughs> and change to whatever the value there is in the table okay run the simulation this is the voltage across now we see things became a little bit different there is now from the calculated value compared to the uh, uh, measured value or simulated value we are expecting 7 milliamp but we are getting 7 point something milliamps this is good because of the tolerance of the resistor uh, in, in multi-sim you can add tolerance to resistances and it will be simulated uh, <coughs> through, uh, uh, through the program if we increase the voltage a little bit and of course I mean sometimes you can add even I think uh, temperature effect the higher the current through the resistor the higher the temperature of the resistor which affects the uh, the resistance again with 9 volts there is 9.001 milliamps okay after tabulating this you are done with this simulation part and you will do this in on breadboard in the lab tomorrow okay now I think my uh, my video time is about to run up so I will do the second part uh, using a second video cast thank you